Series Event 4 is a chipper, consisting of rowing 30 calories, 30 bar facing burpees, and 30 hang power cleans. The men's weight for this workout is 135 pounds, and the women's weight is 95 pounds. The first female athlete may begin in the seated position on the rower, but may not touch the handle until the call of go. The calories must be reset to zero before each athlete begins their row. At the call of three, two, one, go, the first female athlete rows 30 calories and must remain seated with their hands on the handle until their display clearly reads 30 calories. Upon completion of the row, female athlete number one performs 30 burpees over the barbell. Upon completing the 30th bar facing burpee, the first female athlete may begin her 30 hang power cleans. Female athlete number two may be in a seated position on the rower, but is not allowed to touch the handle until female number one finishes her 30th hang power clean and slaps hands with athlete number two. Be sure to record the time when each transition occurs. Female athlete number two may begin her chipper performing the work in the same manner as the first female. The remaining team members complete the workout in the same manner as the first athlete. Once again, be sure to reset the monitor to zero calories before each athlete begins rowing. Your team score is the total time for all four members to complete the workout. Time stops upon completion of the 30th hang power clean by male athlete number two. There is no time cap. Every repetition of the burpee starts with the athlete touching their chest and thighs to the ground and jumping over the barbell. A two foot takeoff is required. A single foot jump over the barbell will not count. Once you clear the barbell and start your next repetition, you must be facing the barbell. Changing your orientation to be parallel to the bar will not count. If the athlete fails to touch the ground with their chest and thighs, that's a no rep. Any repetition taken from the floor must achieve a deadlift lockout, meaning the hips and knees are fully extended and the shoulders are behind the barbell before re-dipping to initiate the hang clean. Each repetition finishes with the bar racked on the shoulders and the elbows clearly in front of the bar with the hips and knees fully extended. Failing to begin any repetition from a full lockout of the hips and knees or failing to have the shoulders behind the barbell will be a no rep. If the hips and knees are not fully extended at the top, that's a no rep. Power cleaning the barbell from the ground in one continuous motion is not permitted. Oh! 